Hello everyone. Let's begin by dragging the images onto the timeline. Then right click to select Crop to Fit and click on the duration icon to set it to four seconds as demonstrated. Next, click on the first image, then go to the top and select the crop icon. After that, choose the 16-9 ratio. Click on pan and zoom above, adjust the grid as demonstrated, and then apply the changes. Now, right-click and copy the effect, then select the other images, right-click again, and paste the effect as demonstrated. Now, select everything, right-click to copy, add a new video track, and then right-click to paste as demonstrated. Next, go to the Transitions section and search for the Push Transition. Push means both push right and we have push left options. Now, apply the push transition between the first two images below, then drag the push left transition from the top and add another push transition for the final images. Now, select the first image above, go to the Effects panel and apply the border effect. Click on the image, Go up to the Effects panel, adjust the border size to 6, and set the blur to 1. Then click on the image above and scroll down to apply shadow as demonstrated. Now right-click to copy the effect, then select the other three images above. Right-click again and paste the effect. Now click on the first image, go to the top to apply a keyframe to transform, and set the scale to 0 to shrink it down. Further move the playhead to 1 seconds, then go up to apply keyframe to transform and only scale up to 60, as shown. Again move the playhead to 3 seconds, then go up to only apply keyframe to transform. Now move the playhead to the end, then go up to apply keyframe to transform and unlock the scale to type 100 in X scale, then 30 in Y scale. Afterwards scroll down to type 1130 in position X and 90 in rotation, then preview as shown. Now right-click on any of the keyframe point, then choose Select Keyframe, then right-click again to select Copy Keyframe, and go to the second picture above. Right-click, then paste the keyframe as shown above. To make the animation go right, only click the last keyframe point, then go up to only add minus to 1130 in position X and minus to 90 in rotation as shown. Now go back to the first picture to copy the keyframes, then go to the third picture to paste the keyframe as shown. Also go to the second picture to copy the keyframes, then go to the fourth picture to paste the keyframe as shown. Preview. Lastly, add a video track above, then go to Effect to Search and drag down Retro Cinema Overlay 03, then extend to match the duration below. Afterward preview as shown. Also, the template link for this tutorial is in the description. Please do like and leave a subscription and have a wonderful day.